Let's see how asexual reproduction takes place. Today, we'll look at artificial propagation and the types are cutting, layering, and grafting. Artificial propagation is producing many plants from one plant by man-made methods. Cutting is when a part of a plant is cut and used to grow a new plant. Layering is when a branch of a plant is buried in the soil and later on grows into a new plant. Whereas grafting involves two plants that have been cut and their stems joined together. Artificial propagation of plants is a method by which many plants from the body of a plant by man-made methods is utilized to create and form a new plant that replicates the parent plant. This method is mainly used in agriculture for raising crops and in horticulture for the cultivation of vegetable fruits and flowers. The three main types or methods are cutting, layering and grafting. Let's have a look at each. Cutting. In this method, a small part of the plant with buds is cut or removed. The cutting may be from the stem, root or leaf. You could have a look at the diagram to show you what exactly is transpiring. The cut part with buds is taken and its lower part buried in moist soil. After a few days, the cutting develops roots and shoots and grows into a plant. The new plant formed has the same characteristics of the parent plant. Plants like bougainvillea, chrysanthemum, grapes, sugarcane, rose, bananas, cacti can all be grown by the same method. The advantage of this method is that a new plant or plants can be produced from one plant instead of waiting for the development of flowers and seeds. In layering, it involves the pulling of a branch of a plant and burying it in the soil while leaving the tip of the branch exposed above the ground. After some time, the branch develops roots and grows into a plant. Jasmine, locally known as chameli, is one plant that grows by this method of propagation. Other plants like strawberry and raspberry are propagated in the same manner as they have runners which are soft horizontal stems running above the ground. Whenever the ends of these runners touch the ground or its surface, new plants are formed. In grafting, you have the stems of two different plants, one with roots and the other without roots. These are joined together in such a way that the two stems join and grow together as a single plant, bearing the characteristics of both original plants. In order for grafting to take place, the stems must have the following. Firstly, the cut stem of a plant that is fixed to the soil has to be having roots called the stalk, which is the lower part of the plant. Secondly, the part that's going to be attached to the stalk is called the scion, which is the upper part of the plant and it is the stem of another plant. Take a look at the diagram. The scion has been cut off from the stalk. It is then later on joined to the stalk of another plant and it has been bound over by a cloth or even a plastic bag. So once the scion is placed over the stalk and both the surfaces are fitted together and bound tightly with a piece of cloth and covered with a polythene sheet so as to prevent harmful infection by bacteria, fungus or even loss of water or sap from the cut, the parts heal and the stalk and scion of two different plants grow together as one plant. What are the advantages of artificial vegetative propagation? Firstly, a new plant that is produced will be a replicate or a replica of the parent plant. Secondly, fruit trees that have been grafted bear or produce fruits in comparison to those trees grown by seeds. Thirdly, plants grown by means of artificial vegetative propagation require less attention than those grown by seeds. Fourthly, 
By using this process or method, many plants can be grown from the original parent plant. Fifthly, seedless plants can also be obtained by artificial vegetative propagation. And finally, grafting enables us to combine our choice of plants for our desired effect. I hope you've enjoyed the presentations. If you'd like to see more presentations, you can always visit us on our website at www.arrangeacademy.com. Furthermore, for a subscription, you could always check us out on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash arrangeacademy. You can subscribe to us also on our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash c slash Academy. Thank you.